I want to read you some lyrics here. I always felt like 83, standing round like an old oak tree. But something wonderful happened to me. Just wait and see. A little operation filled me full of syncopation. And now I shout with glee. <coughs> I'm just a monkey man. I feel like a wild monkey looking for a chimpanzee. <coughs> See this monkey talk. Every day and every way I'm getting better in my monkey walk. <coughs> I'm wild as wild can be. <coughs> so don't you monkey with me. Since my recovery the other day, I made a discovery and that's why I say, understand, it was a monkey gland that made a monkey out of me. Those are some pretty wacky lyrics from 1923, a song sung by the vaudevillian Billy Mayers and the original Memphis Melody Boys called Made a Monkey Out of Me. Well, I've been monkeying around myself lately with a cocktail made with gin, fresh orange juice, grenadine, and absinthe. Uh, it's called the monkey gland, just like in the song. I'm not sure the song was a number one hit on the charts back then, but I love how this drink presumably makes you act after consuming a couple of these, along with, well, where the monkey gland cocktail got its name from. Now, this is crazy. In the early 1920s, there was a popular surgical technique, a medical procedure of taking thin slices of testicles from chimpanzees and baboons and then <laughs> transplanting them into a man's scrotum. Ow! <laughs> the practice was pioneered by Dr. Serge Voronoff in Paris, France, and was intended to rejuvenate the recipient. More like an aphrodisiac, I think, with maybe Jekyll and Hyde consequences. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> the Monkey Gland Cocktail was created in the 1920s in Harry McElhone's joint, uh, Harry's New York Bar, which, ironically, was located in Paris, France, the city in which the operations took place. Now, Harry, the bartender, he published books including Harry's ABC of Mixing Cocktails and Barflies in Cocktails. Harry's New York Bar is said to have been the birthplace of such classic cocktails like the Bloody Mary, the Sidecar, the White Lady, uh, an early version of the French uh, 75, and of course, well, the Monkey Gland. The drink is floral, herbal, a little acidic, but really refreshing. So next time you're in a bar, <laughs> and if you got the balls for it, <laughs> order up a Monkey Gland. Let's make this thing. Oh, 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 I wish I had a little mustache here. Uh, we are going to make a monkey gland cocktail for you. Okay, first thing we want to do is uh, grab some gin. We want an ounce and a half. And you can add a little more if you want. Next thing we want is some freshly squeezed orange juice. Uh, and I double strained to get the pulp out. Ounce and a half. Next is some homemade grenadine. Now you can use store-bought. Uh, I like homemade. It, it smells and tastes much better. Uh, we'll be doing an episode real soon on that. Okay, one teaspoon. Oh yeah, look at the gold. The gold. Followed by absinthe. Absinthe is an anise flavored spirit derived from botanicals, including the flowers and leaves of wormwood. Now, wormwood is a herb typically used for various digestion problems, gallbladder disease, and intestinal spasms. It's also used to treat fever, liver disease, and helps increase sexual desire as a tonic. Blend it together with green anise, sweet fennel, and other medicinal herbs. Absinthe has often been portrayed as a dangerous, addictive, psychoactive drug and hallucinogen. It was the chemical compound thujone that was blamed for the alleged harmful effects. By 1915, absinthe had been banned in the United States and in much of Europe. 
But recent studies have shown that absence psychoactive properties, apart from that of the alcohol, have been exaggerated. At 70% alcohol by volume, or 140 proof, absinthe is sometimes mistakenly referred to as a liqueur. It is classified as a spirit, because traditionally, it is bottled without any added sugar. Now you could use Perrineau as well, but uh, absinthe is where it's at. A teaspoon. Oh yeah, that's all you need is a teaspoon, because this is powerful stuff. Sweet. Add some ice to our cocktail. And shake it like a monkey. Yeah. Okay. Enough. And what we want to do is just strain it out. I've got this nice little uh, cocktail glass. And uh, oh yeah. Look at that color, sweet. And the final touch, well, I got a couple little monkey balls here. <laughs> no, actually they're cherries. And we're just gonna drop them on there. Sweet, <laughs> sweet. And there you have it, your classic monkey gland. Let's uh, try this thing. Oh baby, uh, really refreshing. Especially with the fresh orange juice, I gotta have one of these testicles. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Make one. It really is a delightful, delightful cocktail. Cheers. I got some feces here, I'm gonna whip at ya. <laughs> That's f***ed up, man. Okay. Hey, Bruce here. Check out some of these past episodes and make sure you subscribe or you'll miss out on all the fun. Yeah, we have fun here. For more drinks and recipes, check out bartalkandcocktails.com. Thanks for watching. Let's do it again next week.